shouldn't you be able to choose the school that is best for you? And by the way, he's got a point. This is the civil rights issue of our time. Every child deserves a chance, a good education. But you know, the unions hate this idea. Here to explain why school choice really does work. We've got Tim Phillips, president of Americans for Prosperity. Tim, good to see you again. You, um, you know, the one thing every parent hopes is that their child will be able to do better than them. Right. <clears throat> and a big part of that in this country is the education you receive. If you live here in New York City, good luck. Good luck on the, that public school system. You've got public schools in this city that are graduating kids from high school that can't read and cannot write. Don't those parents deserve a chance, regardless of their lack of funding, to be able to send their kid to a good school? They absolutely do. We have seen more and more of a two-tiered society in this country. Kids who can get a good education in good schools, they live the American dream. But a lot of kids from disadvantaged backgrounds, they're stuck in failing schools. These unions battle any move to give them choices. I applaud Trump here on this. And Betsy DeVos, his education secretary, she spent her adult life trying to give disadvantaged children, more American children, a chance to make it by having a good school. Studies show this consistently, Trish, that when you give parents choices, they know their kids better than the schools do, right? They know better than some education bureaucrats. It's wild, bureaucrat right, guys. to think that you can work as a teacher and, you know, as long as you show up. Right. And you basically you, you got that. a guaranteed job for life and, right. and benefits to boot and a pension plan and you name it. Uh, it that wouldn't fly anywhere else, certainly yeah. not in the private sector. It sure wouldn't. And too often these kids are trapped. They can't get out. It was interesting when these unions were blocking Betsy DeVos from going into that public school. You saw that. Yeah. You covered that. The, the irony is they're also trying to block millions of kids from getting out of those failing public schools. Trump is on to something here. I hope he drives this so hard. It's a chance for millions of kids to actually live the American dream. And it, these studies it, that show uh -huh. one of the key findings they find is that you can move quickly to take children who have been languishing for years. Within a year or two in a, in a, in a school choice program, a private school opportunity, yeah, no, it's they amazing. They, they, their scores. Much, much they more opportunity. Uh, here's the thing. Politically speaking, a lot of Democrats, in some ways, I think they don't want to see some of these communities. <laughs> succeed, these inner city communities, because if Trump comes in, introduces school choice, you start to see some upward mobility because right. these kids finally get a shot in life. What happens to their political base? This is something where the Democrats are conflicted. A lot of these elected officials who claim to want to help children, they actually want to keep them locked in these union schools because you and I both know the teacher unions are one of the biggest financial contributors to liberal and Democrat causes and also the biggest contributor of people, troops that go out and knock on doors and make phone calls and win elections. But let's make them make that choice. Let's have these individual Democrat members from big cities have to choose between the parents and kids in their district and helping them with yeah. school choice or sticking with the unions. I think they'll pick the kids if we shine a light on it. Keep doing it, Trish. Tim, thank you very much. You Good to have you here.